Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Nick here. Now, as you can see, this is going to be a different video than what you're used to me putting out. However, we're in the midst of a pandemic, and there's so many people who are currently out of work or are looking for a side hustle. And well, one of the side hustles that I had back in the day was bartending. Now, the typical way of pouring a drink is to get your liquor, pour it into what's called a jigger, yeah, I know, and then pour it into a glass. However, one of the most important things that my teacher told me when I was getting my TABC through the state of Texas is that bartending is all about speed and quality. And when you're doing this extra step, when it's a busy Saturday night at a club or a bar, you're gonna take a bit more time to get those drinks out. And when you're dealing with people who are drinking, they want their drinks when they want their drinks. So a quicker way to do this is by doing a technique called freehand pouring, where you'll pour the liquor directly into the glass. And the way we do this by maintaining the integrity of the drink is by what's called a pour count. So the two main counts that we need to remember is a one ounce or a four count, or a one and a half ounce or a six count. Now there's also a five count, but to keep it simplistic for today, we're just going to focus on the previous two. Now before I actually show you how to do this, remember your counts aren't one, two, three, four. They're one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. They kind of have to flow together. So with that in mind, let's see how it's done. And as you can see there, the pour doesn't get much better than this. The drink is actually hovering around that top spout. That way you guarantee the most amount of liquor that your customer can get, and you're also not over pouring to where you're wasting liquor. So that was the one ounce. Let's do one and a half. And remember, this takes practice. Every day before work, I used to do these. Every day after work, I used to do these. And whenever I'm just bored at home, I would do them also. And with a lot of practice, that too is how you'll be able to get the perfect pour. Hey y'all, my name is Nick. Comment down on the video to tell me if you liked it or not, or if you saw it helpful. I have another video coming out over a drink recipe on a famous drink that we all know. So stay tuned with that. If there's any other videos you want me to do, let me know. Like, share, and subscribe to the video. And with that being said, make sure you're staying safe. And until next time, peace.